Hi, I'm Nelson Davis, and I want to talk to you about starting your business with just what you have right now. You know, many people ask me about how to start their own business, and I found that an amazing number of them talk themselves right out of it. They often say things like, you know, I don't have the money or the time. Some people tell me that their spouse doesn't get it. So in today's Nelson lesson, I want to tell you how to start that business with what you already have. I happen to think that you can do that, by the way, because my philosophy is start where you stand and go with what you've got. Have a look at uh, your bank accounts, check account, check around the house for cash that may be hiding under the mattress or the 401k account, any other place where you can find some money not needed for your everyday expenses. And if that amount is $500 or $5,000, you can move forward. Yes, some businesses do cost more than others. If you have an invention that requires patents and prototypes and attorneys, of course it will cost more than, let's say, selling small items online. So have a real hard look at what money is needed to actually make your product or sell your services. The goal is to step ahead without big flourishes, big expenses, and fancy stuff that you don't really need. I can give you a real-life story for myself. And I started along with a business partner of mine years ago, a submarine sandwich and pizza business. Our business bank account at that time had about $1,000 in it. On the main street in our city, there was a failing submarine sandwich and pizza business. We went to the owner and said we'd like to buy his business because we thought that we could make a go of it. Of course, he listened to us. He wanted to get out of the business because he was losing money every week. So we agreed to pay him a very small amount of money for the existing equipment, take it over, assume the lease, which was really the only big liability. We drew up a two-page agreement, set a date to begin operating the business on a Friday, and that was a strategic thought, which you'll learn about right now. We chose that day so that we would have the weekend to earn a little cash that would replace the money we'd agreed to pay him. It took a couple of hundred dollars to buy supplies. We had to buy meats, bread, etc. Business over the weekend was not so sparkling. It was pretty poor, as a matter of fact. But we did have enough money by Monday to purchase more supplies. And about a week later, our income was enough to purchase some additional equipment that we needed. So we were now in the submarine sandwich and pizza business for an initial investment of just under $1,000. By the way, my ex-business partner still operates that business, and you can see it online at fatalberts.ca. That's fatalberts.ca. So here's a couple of tips regarding what not to do with your limited resources. Do not lease an office. Make that long-term obligation. Don't buy fancy stationery or purchase a lot of equipment, because just about everything that you need can be rented. You want to preserve your limited resources until you actually sell something. My approach is that sometimes nothing gets made until something gets sold. For example, if you want to start a food business, prepare food items there at home. Have your friends taste them. Work on them until those people tasting them are saying things like, yeah, I love that, or give me some more of that, that they'd actually pay money to get what you're making. If you want to sell something online, Go and buy a few items from a wholesale company and take them to a flea market some weekend and set up a stand and see how well they sell. You'll quickly get potential customers' reactions and determine if one of your items can be a potential hot seller. Study success stories of how people built an online sales business. None of this is expensive. Likely there will be some mistakes made along the way. Remember that you are a student who has to learn some important lessons at every step of the way. And I think it's better to make cheap mistakes than those expensive mistakes. Work from home with the phone and the computer that you already have. Do lots of research online because these days you can find almost anything you need to know for free or very little money. Refine your business idea so that you can describe it clearly with just a few sentences. Write that down now so that you don't forget the key idea of what you're going to do. And since there is not a perfect time to start a business, 
It's almost like having kids, you know. It's never the perfect time. So you choose a date, open a business banking account, choose a URL for your upcoming website, and declare out loud, out loud, that you are committed to starting a business. I'm Nelson Davis, and I simply want to help you prosper and thrive. (laughs) 